Well, <clears throat> since I was in the middle of a rant, I don't know where it stopped because my eyes were closed. I don't know. I'm, I know I was talking about that godforsaken bar that I work at. It's alright sometimes, but... What I learned there at that bar is, well, I want to say I already learned it, but I get to put it into practice. The art of entertaining, and most of all, entertaining men. Although, we get quite a few lesbians that, uh, on Friday, one of them, she was like kissing me all on my cheek and stuff. And I'm like, okay, long as it's the cheek, long as it's the cheek, I'm okay. I'm not going to even trip off you. I know. you got a lot of alcohol in you and you just feeling it. So, go with it. Tip me, tip me. You know, but I'm just like, you just learn how to entertain and make people have a good time and, you know enjoy themselves that aspect I like but we have all female bartenders and they're they don't if I see a woman prettier than me I'd be like damn she's really pretty what does she do to make herself that pretty so I mean it's cause, is it natural I mean what what does she do Give me some tips. Let me peep game because I want to be the prettiest me that I could possibly be. Them bitches, they come to work in sweaters with pearls, with just, I'm like, it's a bar. And our biggest clientele is men, even though we have a few lesbians, it's primarily the men, I mean, and even the lesbians, shit, they gonna critique your ass more, if you want their tip, shit, you gotta be the bombest bitch, and I'm like, I could be that, so I'll be the bombest bitch, but they come to work, like, looking like, <clears throat> I'm like, hey, fucking check your morals at the door. It's a bar. You know what I'm saying? People come here to, like, not worry about all of that. So just get pretty and help them, like, enjoy themselves. Feel like they're comfortable because you're anticipating their thought. You're giving them desire. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, sometimes it's something to live for. Whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys should watch some movies or read some books on how they do it. And I'm not even like the cutest bitch. I am in that bar, but <laughs> not ever on earth or anything. I would say it's not that difficult. And I wouldn't even, like, care if they didn't complain about their tips all the damn time. And I'm like, it's not that difficult. You just talk to them and you entertain them. I mean, you know, they're cool. They're just, like, people, the guys or whatever. And so... I mean, every woman already knows if you're a good looking woman, you know what a man wants automatically when he, especially with some alcohol in him. And I just feel like, okay, you know, I play on that. So, I have fun with it. And they're all like super reserved and I'm like, it's a par. And not that you have to go home with any of them because it's not a strip bar. It's just a regular bar. You just, you 
make yourself appear available, you know, even if you're not, you know, it's not a big deal, it's, it's really not, you know, you get to pick your morals up when you walk out the door, you know. Shira, I'm just waiting until I don't have to be there anymore. And I realize that it doesn't matter where I am, there's going to be something. And okay, I'm fine with that. But I'm tired of the there, the something that's there. Because it's like, ugh. Like, over it. I've been there. I've been hanging in there. I've been sticking to it just be like just whatever and I'm like when can I go oh my god I'm just ready to go but I, you know today she was like oh I'm so proud of you you did a good job what I like about you is that you I didn't have to tell you stuff twice like that she's like I don't have to tell you stuff twice clearly she's foreign okay because that was my foreign accent but <clears throat> and I'm like I know because I'm not incompetent you know what I said so I mean <laughs> it's not that difficult but she gets jealous of me so she kind of feels like she wants to hold me back and I'm like I don't want to be held back I get, I get to determine my pace, not you, so I'm ready, you know, and I'm like, <clears throat> she has me waitressing, and I'm like, I'm not a waitress, Heffa, I'm a bartender, but on the other aspect, I get it, because I get to, when I'm waitressing, I get to practice the art of entertaining, because I have to go into each group of individual people you know, and it's a different personality in every group. I mean, every group has its own personality. You know, so you get homegirls out just having a good time, whatever. So you try to get the party started. What y'all want to drink? You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's boogie. Let's go on the dance floor. We girls, we doing this. Then you get the guys, the group of guys that... <clears throat> They want to touch all on you and feel on you and stuff. And I'll be like, okay, I'm so over that. Why you have to touch me? But I don't, I'm not, I don't say that. I just think that. I'm just like, okay, you know, I kind of just go with it and make my boundaries like clear. I'll look at it and be like, hey, you need to stop that. Because I do the little sexy dance or whatever and they like it. I don't know. <sighs> And you just have to put on a different face for each of these groups. And <clears throat> not everybody can do it, you know. If you're the same way with everybody, then that doesn't always work. So those bitches should take notes because <clears throat> I'm going to the top. It doesn't matter what I'm going to the top of. I'm going to the top. So, I'm just ready to be out of there. It's coming soon. I can feel it. I'm like this close to it. I know I am. I can feel it. I'm like, just hold on. Don't. Oh my God. I almost walked out of there today. When I walked out, I fucking waitress on... Friday, and that's my bartending night. My friends came in to visit me, and I couldn't even pour their damn drinks. I'm like, <sighs> the whole point of your friends come to your jo job so you can overpour their fucking drinks. You know, that shit pissed me off. And then I go in there today, and she's like, oh, I need you to waitress like that. And I'm just like, ah, shit. <clears throat> and I almost fucking walked out of there. I'm just like, you're underappreciating me. I don't like it. So. That's my rent. I'm going to bed now.